I'm Zach Smithy and I'm an interdisciplinary artist. I focus primarily on the process and that is what this show is about, the process. So the title of the show is Waves and Texture. As you walk into the Foundry's East Gallery where my show is, you'll see six pieces. Two of those pieces are from my Texture series, two are from my Wave series, and the final two pieces of the six are where those two series collide, so they're textural waves. For the Wave series, I used oil-based enamel, and I layered these colors in a cup, and then I pour those layered colors out onto a board. And then I pour that board onto the canvas. And I use oil-based enamel in particular over other types of paint because they don't want to mix and turn to mud. You see these tight bands of color next to each other that seem to vibrate. And that's really the effect that I'm going for with those pieces. In the texture series, I've got several different types of texture used from a textural medium that I loaded into a caulk gun to a brittle plaster-like texture that I used in one of the waves. And you can tell the difference between that brittle plaster-like material in the blue wave as opposed to the more gelatin-like texture that I used in the black wave behind me. It has more flow, it doesn't look as crunchy. But that's the thing about it is each material brings its own look so it's really the medium that defines the final product and how it behaves and my quest to try to control that natural behavior of the medium. Being an artist focused on the process, I don't get too involved in the what. I'm more focused on how, the art of creating art. When you come into this show, I want you to bring your own experiences and your own point of view to the work. For me, personally, I work seven days a week for years on end. So waves are a sense of calming, relaxation, meditation. For you, it might be something else. And I hope you leave with a positive experience. Waves and Texture will be on view at the Foundry until December 23rd. And for more information, visit foundryartcenter.org.